So today we're going to be having a look at some PDF editing software that uh, Tenoshare have kindly asked me to look at, which is their PD knob uh, editing software for Mac and Windows. But this the Mac version is what we're going to be looking at today. So I think this is one of the best PDF editing softwares on the market and I've used a few in my time. So this appears to be very intuitive, very user friendly and very powerful at the same time. So let's get into this review and I'll guide you through how to use the software, what you get if you buy the software and what exactly it includes in the package and what features may are the main features of the product and what you can actually do with it. So sit back, relax and let's get into this review. So the main PDF editor on the market is, as everyone knows, Adobe, and it's quite an expensive piece of software. It can cost hundreds of pounds for a business license and it costs lots of money for using it as a personal license as well, which is what always has always put me off using Adobe softwares. It's very expensive because it's the most known one. So lots of software developers have gone out and developed their own Adobe editing style editing software for PDFs and PDNob with made by Tenorshare is one that I've reviewed recently and really enjoyed using. I think it's very user friendly, it's got lots of powerful features on it and it's just easy to use. So I signed in, got my account up and running and I knew how to use it within five minutes of looking at the software, which is exactly what you need from these uh, PDF softwares, not just something that's gonna take hours and hours to learn and you're gonna pay a lot of money for. And it's a flat fee, so the first fee you can pay is $11 or $11.99, it gets you access for a couple of days, I think. Then it's $59.99 for a lifetime license, which is a bargain really. So it's about £45 for a lifetime license to editing PDFs. And it not only does, P it just, so it does all PDF stuff, but it will do um, OCR stuff as well. So you can take OCR screenshots from your computer and then import them into the software and it'll make PDFs out of them. You can merge and edit and compress PDFs. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you all those features of the PDF knob software and show you how exactly how it works and get into it and show you the nitty gritty details of what you can do with it and who's it suitable for and why you should buy it and why you should look at using it. And you can also, for $44, you can also do a one year license as well. So there are lots of options with the licensing. They do business use as well. So do check out Tenoshare's website. They've got lots of software on there. And this is just one of their softwares I'm trying out. Really impressed with the company so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go onto my PC, share my screen and show you exactly how to get into the software and what you can do with it. So the first thing to do is to navigate to Tenoshare's website and go to the PDA and PD knob section on their website, which is their number one PDF editor and edit. OCR and Smarter Edit as well, because it also has AI features, which we'll get into on, on this uh, video. So if you go into the, if you click on free download there, you go on that and it downloads straight to your desktop, which I've already done anyway. You can see it's already downloaded into my desktop. And then the next uh, thing to do is to fire up uh, the web. One instance is it, once the software has installed, you just go down to your applications and fire up the software. So I've got it here for you. I've already opened it up. And this is the first thing you will kind of see. So I've just downloaded and installed the software. And this is kind of the first thing that you'll see when you fire up the uh, application. So it says, this is the introduction page to PD Knob, And it says all in one PDF editor for everyday task, which is exactly what it is. So the first thing to do is kind of look at the top bar up here. So you've got um, options here, so you can do edit all, add text, OCR. So then this is your tabs at the top here. So what you want to do first, this is kind of the introduction thing here. So you want to you want to bring a document into that you want to edit or you want to create or you want to do something with. So let's go on open file. And I've made a file in my documents earlier for testing purposes, which is called um, PDF test. Very. I just need to allow the application to uh, access the file. And if I go on to, so let's fire up my media kit, which is a bit old now, but it'll do. So this is, um, I've made this in uh, a design software. So I don't want to have to go back into that design software and have to re-edit it all the time. So what I want to do, say I wanted to update this piece of text here. So I could highlight it here and do all sorts with it. So I can just highlight that. Uh, then I can I can underline it. You can do all sorts with it and do Control Z obviously to remove it. You can redact it and then apply the redaction if you're doing it, if you want to do uh, changes to it. You can also add text in and you can also edit all. So if I click Edit All, so click Edit Text. So here the software has picked up the fact that we want to this text. So what it does automatically picks up all the text in the applicate in the software in the PDF file that you've got. And all we then do is go on to the individual parts of the software and just change it. So say I want to just change that bit here, I just delete that bit there. 
So change that, delete that bit there. So then once we've done that, to unedit it, you go on with that little arrow there and go back to select mode or hand mode. So hand mode, you can drag it around and the select mode, you can select different parts of the, of the uh, PDF. So here you can see that I've taken the text mode, I've, I've edited the text, looks exactly like I've changed the text on the original document, but actually this is the PDF document. So it's so much easier than having to go back into the actual main software that I use to make this document. I can just do it in the PDF format and then resave it back to my PDF, which is unbelievably useful. And I click on save there and it'll save it back to, the, to my original PDF, um, which is very, it's just um, much easier than going back to the original document. And also what you can do is you can edit, uh, you can go onto images. So you can go onto the media kit here and you can make it into an image which you go into, you can convert it to a JPEG file or any other file you might want to do. So you can make it into a Word document or PowerPoint or a variety of different documents, which is really useful. Because if I want to ed export this as say a Word document and send it to someone, I could just do that by converting it straight away on there. So if I click off that and say I want to do something with this image so I can extract it, replace it and edit it. So I want to edit it here, so it'll let me resize it just so useful because I can change the size of the image without having to go back into the original document. I can replace it with a new image. Say I wanted a new photograph of myself. I would just choose go on that, click replace image, and then I would be able to uh, put a new photo in there without having to worry about going back into the original software. So, and you just click save again and it will take you back to the save on the thing here, which is very, it's just unbelievably easy to do as well. And um, so lots of other things you can do on it. You can obviously comment on things, so you can type in um, comments on the on the application. You can highlight things here, so you can just highlight text. If you're sending it to someone, you can stamp it, you can use the pencil mode, you can edit it, which we've just been doing, convert it. So now we can convert it to Word, which we've, I've just gone over as well, to an image. You can do batch conversions for lots of documents in one go. Uh, you can select different pages and crop them, extract them. So it's just such a powerful software, but very well designed as well to find things. Uh, also, you can sign documents, which is incredibly useful. So if I go and sign document here, then I can add in a signature box just down here somewhere. So maybe just down here at the bottom, add in signature box and then click sign there. Then I could import my signature from say my iPad if we're done with my Apple Pencil or a, a other format and pop it just in down there, which is great. And then if I go on to form here, I can do all sorts of things like create different boxes on it, extract particular data from it, and then also tools on there. So this is where you can do things like merging PDFs and compressing PDFs. So merging them, obviously, if we want to do, we've got two documents open here. So if we went on merge PDF, and it's just asking me, do you want to save changes? So yes, I will save changes to it. And if I go back onto this, uh, so I add a file on that. So go on to say I want to merge it with this marketing campaign here for some reason. I don't know why I would, but anyway, click merge and it's done it for me. So now there should be a merge document here with both pages in the document and that's great because this is um, so easy to do and makes it so so the next useful part of the software is called OCR so what you can do here is you can import PDFs and you can take out the text out of the PDF or for, so from an image so what we can do is scan something in from a magazine or a document and if it and then create a PDF from it which I'll now show you how to do so go back to the start page go on to create PDF from file so say I just scanned a book in and it was in a JPEG format here. Just bear in mind you can't use HCIC with this software, just the, just the older JPEG. Go on, open. Uh, then I want to perform OCR, so click on that. And then I want to scan it to editable text. So perform OCR. I will take out the text. You see here it's identified the text and it'll just take it out for you. So then uh, we go back, let's delete that. We'll go back to that, delete, and we'll go back to perform OCR again, and we'll go to scan to searchable text in image. So click on perform OCR. So this would be particularly useful to so say, this is, this is probably a bad example, but say there was um, hundreds of lines of text on, on the page and then you'd now be able to search it using this, this feature. So then you could then search for keywords in the document without having to read through it all. So that would be useful when there's lots of words, not in maybe a situation like this, but yeah. So another useful feature of the software is called compress to um, compress PDF. So say you had a PDF that was hundreds of pages long, 
um, and you wouldn't be able to send it by email. You can go on that here, compress it. No, go on that. You can do it in high, middle or low quality and then just click compress and it will send it. It will, it will then compress it down to a file size that you'll be able to email. So this will be useful to say it was a massive document. In this situation it's not. If it was a huge document, it would be particularly useful and you wouldn't have to worry about um, the file size and it would just be easier to do it this way. So another aspect of this software that we haven't explored yet is the AI side of it. So there's lots of AI features. So for example, you could ask it to translate the PDF for you. You could ask it to search for key text. And what you do is you go into your PDF document here, which I've got my media kit. You go onto the AI sidebar just over here and you would click on it and then and it will bring up a AI summary of the document here. So it'll say, it'll ask you some questions what you might want to do with this. So it'll say like, what are the key themes or ideas in this text can provide more details about this. So this is good for, say you had a document that was again, a couple of pages long, it would enable you to look at the, use the AI to summarize it. So you can ask to summarize the document. It will then think about it and then it'll generate the answer here. So then it'll just basically provide a summary here of, of the PDF, uh, which you can copy and paste. And it's just, just useful to be able to pick out keywords from it and it, you can summarize things and translate things. And just, um, if you've got a lot of pages here, it'll, it'll just enable you to do it using this, this AI feature here, which is just nice to have really from the PDF side of things. Uh, if you've got a particularly large document, I find big documents harder to go through uh, reading lots of text all at once, so it's very useful if you can just get the AI, AI to summarise it rather than to read the whole document to get a gist of what it's about. So that's all the main features of the PDF software. So what I'd like to do now is go over a few last details of the software that might be useful to know. So one thing uh, that's worth mentioning is that the software is multi-platform compatibility. So it works on Windows and Macs. So if you've got a Windows laptop and a, and a Mac desktop, for example, then it would work on both soft on both. Um, both platforms without having to download, without having to pay for another license for another software. So that's not, that's nice to know as well. Also, there is um, no watermarks ever on the software. So it just is watermark free. So a lot of software, if you um, don't pay for certain parts of it or keep having to upgrade layers and layers on it, then it will keep watermarking the software, let you only do so many PDFs. This will not do that. It will let you, you once you've paid the fee, it will let you use as many PDFs as you want. Uh, and edit them and everything like that with no watermarks on it. So I think it's nice to know that watermarks are not going to be put on your documents uh, and send them out by mistake, which I would find embarrassing to my clients. So I, I, I will be using this software going forward to edit my media kit, to edit my um, uh, contracts or anything like that. So here I've got, you see, I've got my a contract here, which I can edit and change if I need to in PDF format. So I don't have to bother keep converting it back backwards and forwards in PDF to Word. I can just edit it directly in this software. I can edit my media kit so I can update my photo on it. I can change my logo. I can change my an, an, analytics, which is hard to say, but I think I've got it right, uh, on here because I can update that as I go along and my, and my partners and everything like that. So it just makes it a lot easier than having to go back through multiple documents and I can have it all in one place on one platform. Uh, so that's just a real example of how I will, how will, I will be using the software going forward. So thanks for watching. I hope that's been useful. I would check out their website. If you're looking for a PDF editor, this is the one I would use. I've used a few over the years and this is the most easy to use one that doesn't have any bugs in it and seems to work and does everything it says on the tin. So check out Tenno Share's website. Um, they will uh, have some deals on there for Black Friday, I understand. So have a look through and you'll get a good deal on the software if you sign up this weekend. So please check out the links down below. I'll put them in the description of the video so you can access the links to find the software. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. A like and a thumbs up would be great. And uh, please do get involved in the comments. If you've got any questions about the software, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you and I'll speak to you next time.